seven to the crowd and finish it off. Like At that. 17, Alexander Masialis is the second youngest to qualify for the Olympics in the history of American fencing. It was just in awe, basically. I was like, what? <laughs> As a lot of people like to put it, it's like a physical chess. Alexander was just like the kids who attend his father Greg's Mission District Fencing Academy. Greg is a former Olympian himself and now devotes his life to coaching his son. He kind of naturally had picked up weapons and did things and I remember him holding and sort of ramming against the wall, you know. <laughs> Just being on the bench here watching all the fencers, really excited, always sometimes even crying because he wouldn't let me start fencing. When I was... 14, I got my first electric foil, which is sort of like an important step in terms of competition, right? Yeah. At 14, he had already won his first Div 1 national competition. Fencing against his father won't cut it anymore. Alexander travels all over the world, competing against professional fencers who are much older. San Francisco's Drew High School provides options for his grueling schedule. Most people don't travel as much as he does in one year their whole lives. The passport is filled. Oh, unbelievably, with extra pages, double sets of extra pages. You go to these other countries, sometimes even third world countries, and you realize, wow, uh, we are extremely lucky. A very mature outlook for a guy who hopes to bring a medal home to Stanford when he starts in the fall. To have my dad uh, go with, through the steps with me to make my Olympic dreams come true is just unbelievable. <sighs>